Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 7th, and right now we're looking at the infrared slash visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the lower 48 states. You can see the marine layer in the Northern California area there, and some of San Diego, Los Angeles Metro. I was working some of the San Diego flights for Alaska Airlines yesterday, and you can see that marine layer start to creep in there during the late night hours here. So yeah, interesting stuff out there. Always fun to watch that marine layer bouncing around. If we take a wider view of things here, you can see Tropical Storm Lydia down here. It may be a hurricane it's just kind of on the borderline of whether it will or not but it should not affect the southwest portions of the usa we continue to watch it day by day just to make sure because things can change in these when these remnants of tropical systems do move up over the area they can be high impact events as you can see here october 7 1997 intense storms inland empire and san bernardino mountains fell during the early morning check it out there big wall of debris and water came rolling down damaged some buildings and 14 cars big bear even reported a fifth of uh, a tenth of an inch there of early season snow so yeah they even have a doppler radar look at things there as well so interesting stuff here back in 1997 near record heat october 7th now 2023 check it out fresno bakersfield getting close it may tie some records out there today but there is a cool down coming here and talking about it here is the national weather service hanford you can see death valley dropping down out of the hundreds there even and you can see the valley area is starting to cool off a bit here as well and we're going to be dealing with some troughs nearby here that may keep us you know uh, from getting too warm here over the next uh, for the, the near term we'll take a look at that here coming up in a moment the weather model maps uh, weekend outlook las vegas nevada and lake mead laughlin red rock canyon out there you can see nice warm temperatures out there slightly above average but you can see Las Vegas for the next three days at 91 degrees here. So nice graphic here. The National Weather Service, Las Vegas. Precipitation forecast. Check it out. Sacramento might even get a little bit of measurable precip with this frontal system rolling through. Better amounts, of course, across northwest California where we still have a couple of fires going on. In fact, there still are a few fires across some of the Sierra Nevada. Nothing too crazy there, but this precipitation will definitely be beneficial as it comes across some of uh, central and northern California here. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station to record all this crazy weather we get here along the west coast of the U.S say click on that link down below to save 10 percent off it's always more interesting to watch these systems roll on in here when you have something like a weather station attached to your place of residence taking a look here at the last night's european run here so we're looking at that trough developing over the gulf of alaska and there's a uh, tropical storm lydia down here you can see that frontal system rolling through here hopefully bringing some nice precipitation amounts and maybe even down towards sacramento stockton and maybe clipping the bay area there you can see that system slide through here as we go through uh, the mid portion of the week and this trough here on the latest european is still pretty close to california not allowing a big ridge to build here and keeping things maybe slightly above average for some areas here so we're going to be watching this one closely and see how this uh forecast trends here over the next few days taking a look at 850 millibar heights here 5,000 feet you can see we are going to cut off the santa ana winds here as we go through the day today and start to bring more of an onshore flow as we go on in through sunday you kind of see the wind barbs lining up there and bringing things back on shore so we're going to bring that marine there a lot closer to the coastline of much of the state and you can see uh, the wind shifting back to more of a westerly flow here. And then the frontal system approaching California as you go through the day Monday there as well. Yeah, So hopefully we can bring some uh, much needed precipitation as some of those fires still across Northern California. But yeah, you're definitely going to feel the pattern change coming up for much of the area here. Of course, the deserts always stay a little bit warmer, of course, than places up off to the northwest here. But yeah, you're going to feel this cooler air aloft moving into the area. And I'll kind of show you that here. 925 millibars, about 2,500 feet off the surface. You can see the nice warm air. This thing extends all the way up towards Pacific Northwest and even Vancouver Island there. Nice thermal trough up the Pacific Northwest, warming things up there. But as we look off into Monday, you can see the frontal system arrive and that cooler air start to push down. Even the desert areas aloft are going to cool down as well. So you can kind of see that by the time we go towards Tuesday morning. Definite uh, pattern change incoming. This is looking at daily 2 meter max temperature. Another very warm day, even all the way up towards the coastline potentially. In the valley areas, you can see some mid and upper 90s. Desert areas getting up over 100 degrees death valley probably checking at about 105 today as well but you'll see that cool down just start there as we go on sunday for the coastline you saw that drop there i'm toggling back and forth between saturday and sunday there so there's sunday still another very warm day across a lot of the valley areas and interior areas here but by the time we go towards monday you'll notice that cool down here for a lot of the area and this uh, cloud shield will be moving over northern california by the time we go through monday here goes tuesday wednesday so you definitely see the drop in temperatures here as we go through the midweek 
week coming up here. And then there's a little bit more of a question mark as to what's to come after that. We may start to warm up a little bit here, but the European kind of showing that trough a little bit closer. So we'll watch that. We have time to look at that here over the next few days. This is Los Angeles. You can kind of see that drop uh, down even a little bit below normal here for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then kind of hovering right around average through about the mid-October period. San Francisco, another very warm day again today. I think it was 92 the last two days there for San Francisco. Quite a treat for some of you guys who like that warmer weather. And again today, a very warm day before that the drop back down here as we get that back onshore flow returning to the area and then kind of hanging out towards average here as we go through the mid portion of October. And here's kind of some raw data here. You can see uh, the last three days for San Francisco, 90, 92, and 93. Look, some of these, um, the overnight lows were pretty high too as well. You can see the men only getting down towards 61, 65, and 66. Those are closer to the average highs for this time of year. So yeah, nice offshore pattern here and nice warm up experience across a lot of the Bay Area all the way out to the coast. Fresno, check it out. Another couple days of 95 plus and then the drop back down, even a little below average there on maybe um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then kind of hovering around average, maybe slightly above so through mid-October. San Jose, something similar here as well. You can see the cool down definitely on its way, but another very warm day again here today for San Jose. Las Vegas above average, not incredibly so, but you know, you're know you looking at maybe what 10 degrees uh, as you go through Monday and then that cool down starts to even affect a lot of the inland and desert areas as well. Phoenix Sky Harbor above average here and then maybe back down towards average here as we go through the extended forecast. Now here's Tropical Storm Lydia still has it, you know, they've kind of been bouncing back and forth whether this is going to become a hurricane or not right now it doesn't look like it until maybe tuesday morning here as it approaches the mexico coastline uh, as you can see there now just all, as always we keep an eye on these uh, tropical systems and their remnants down here you can kind of see tropical storm lydia rolling around on the gfs there point itself back at the mexico coastline and as you see none of this precipitable water makes its way up towards the southwest usa so right now not expecting any impacts from that system and this is the gfs just going to doubling down and making sure that gfs doesn't show or the european doesn't show anything different this is the european model yesterday afternoon's run goes out 10 days and maybe a little tiny surge of moisture there but nothing uh, to be worried about this is looking at total precipitation and interest with this frontal system coming in. This is the ensemble mean. So this is the average of all 50 European ensemble members. And if you don't know what the ensembles are here, it's when we take the initial conditions, best we understand them, and we change them a little bit here. And then we run 50 separate model runs here with those change conditions to try to best represent any kind of errors we may have in our forecast. And then we average all that out. So it kind of gives us a nice smoothed out average. You kind of see some big precipitation amounts across the northwest uh, California coast, Southwest Oregon there with the system rolling through here. Yeah, and any any precipitation at this time of year generally is beneficial. Vegetation tends to be quite dry even on a good years here across California as you're rolling in towards the fall months after a long summer. Six to 10 day temperature outlook, West Coast still above average here as shown, you know, not exceptionally so. So we'll watch this. It's, European, like I said, showing a trough nearby, 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook, more for the interior areas being below average coastal areas uh, towards the average here as we go through October 16th. And this is looking at the GFS a long range here. So kind of looking at things, you can see the system rolling in here, hopefully bringing some precipitation to Northern California and then the troughing kind of hang out here. And the European a little bit closer with this tr next trough there, but the GFS does show it. You can see this goes on through mid-October, no big ridge building as we go through mid-October, but then in fantasy land, models have been showing this PNA positive with a big ridge across some of the West Coast here as we go towards the second half of October. But, you know, you got to take that with a grain of salt. There's not much you can do with this information. Not really that pertinent at this point. We'll just kind of watch it here as we go over the next few days and see if this continues to trend. And when we get closer, then we'll kind of worry about that and nail down the details. Looking at the solar eclipse there, the annular eclipse, which will not block out the entire sun. You're going to see a ring of or fire around the moon as this eclipse moves onshore. But but will you be able to see it here across Oregon and Nevada? That is the question we're trying to answer here. And right now, it doesn't look great for portions of Oregon and the northeast portion of California here as there is a system right on the coastline here. This is about, what, 11 a.m. that morning. So that system will be very close. The good news is, is we're far out and this has plenty of time to change. But, you know, we'll be watching it closely there for any those eclipse lovers out there. Hopefully we can get a bit of a break here to let some people get some nice views of this eclipse. And you kind of see the simulation 
simulated infrared satellite imagery, even bringing some clouds of over western Nevada and northwestern Nevada here. But your best chance might be across some of Utah and Nevada if this continues to trend this way. And you might get the better view out here. So we'll watch this as we go. Plenty of time to look at that. Still got some of these fires going on. That's what I mentioned here. And hopefully this precipitation can help continue to put these fires out. A lot of these are pretty well contained at this point, And there are a few stray fires that are across some of the Sierra Nevada as well. This is the HER 3KM. You can see some of those fires bubbling around the Sierra Nevada out there and some of Northwest California that have been going on for a couple of months now. But hopefully this uh, precipitation coming in here can help to extinguish some of that or keep them under control. And also taking a quick look there, this is something we looked at a lot last winter and last spring, looking at the reservoir levels and just doing amazing here. Many reservoirs doing above their historical average. Nothing to worry about as far as that and concerned. Uh, good news on that front. But anyway, yeah, we'll watch this system roll in here. We'll see if we have any warm-up coming up or just how close that trough is going to be. We'll continue to look off in the extended forecast. And we'll continue to watch off to the south to see if any kind of tropical remnants are in our forecast. It's that time of year where they can get up here. And we'll just continue to watch to see if that has any possibility over the next few days. But anyway, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Check out the California Weather Watch page. I'm going to post the, these videos there first. And hopefully you guys can get over there and subscribe as well. We'll get that page going and we'll get the word out to more people here across California and try to give everybody a heads up and some education on what to expect weather-wise across the Southwest, Southwest USA, tongue twister. But anyway, yep, um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope to see you then.